Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and if you notice that uh, little horse on the left-hand side that just went beneath the roof, uh, she's brand new, and I just, uh, when I took off, I was wondering if she was going to spook, but, because uh, she came from, uh, she was a wild horse, but uh, she seemed to be just fine, so won't worry too much about that from now on. Anyway, um, I was riding my e-bike the other day, and there was something different uh, I noticed, and uh, I've got a previous video about it, and I'll put that up, <clears throat> or put a link to it, um, and show you a clip from it. But, uh, so anyway, so the there's a whole bunch of cattle down here at the end of this field, but uh, there was also a whole bunch of cattle uh, a mile away, so uh, we're going to fly over and see if that, if... Uh, uh, what I saw with my with my uh, e-bike is really <laughs> what's happening because I I rode by there <clears throat> last fall and there was cattle everywhere and I rode by just uh, a couple of days ago and it didn't seem to be any but I thought well I'll fly up high so I can see uh, where they are now this is the, about the same number of cattle that are always in this pasture here or this field <clears throat> so uh, we'll see if there's a uh, Still some at the other end, because there was a whole bunch of them. All right, so while we're doing this, I'll tell you a quick story about my worst motorcycle accident that I ever had. And what, that, that's back, that happened back in 1982. I'd been riding, my, I had a 1980 Harley Davidson um, Road King full dress, and they didn't have all kinds of models back then, so that was the highest uh, level you could get. And uh, we were planning a trip uh, in, the, in the camper to go to the ocean as a family. And my oldest daughter, she said she would rather go stay with her grandparents. And so that's all right. And so uh, a day or so before we were supposed to leave on vacation, uh, we piled on the Harley. And she loved to ride the Harley. So we got on the Harley. And I had a buddy riding along with me just for fun. And we rode from Pasco, Washington to Dayton, Washington and dropped her off with the grandparents and then uh, said hi and goodbye and came back. Well, as we came through Walla Walla, uh, there, it was four-lane highway through Walla Walla until you got to the, uh, to the uh, uh, west side of it, and uh, then um, it turned into a two-lane road. And we'd been going, you know, 55, I think was the mile, the speed limit back then, and so as we came down to the two-lane road, um, there was a car ahead of us, and he started slowing down and slowing down and slowing down. And wisdom would have told me, uh, just wait and see what he's doing. But uh, uh, he was just slowing down. And so I thought, well, I'm going to go around this guy. There's nobody coming. So I goosed it, and as I came around him, he immediately made a sharp left turn. And I ran in. I remember seeing his... Uh, his fender and his wheel uh, smash into my right leg. Now that's cow manure, and I put a video up about this not too long ago. They keep hauling in more cow manure, and that's for fertilizer on the field here. So I think they're still going to keep using these fields. But uh, anyway, uh, that's another story. <clears throat> so uh, I remember seeing that, and then the next thing I saw was sky ground, sky ground, sky ground. And then the next thing I saw, I was laying uh, on the ground, and about, uh, there goes a plane overhead, I don't know if you can hear it or not, uh, my eye was about uh, two inches from s some rocks, because I had been, uh, I knocked out, and what happened was I went uh, tumbling, and I tumbled between two steel um, mailbox posts and missed them, but there was a power pole, that uh, a wooden power pole, and I, I crashed into it with my helmet. And they weren't required back then, but I was wearing one. So anyway, uh, crashed into that, and that's what knocked me out. I wish I still had the helmet because it had a real, <laughs> a real heavy dose of creosote on the top of it. So <clears throat> anyway, I woke up, and so the first thing I did was I started to move. I started to get up, and man, did it hurt. My right leg was just really in pain, so I couldn't move. My buddy came up and he said, don't move, they're calling the ambulance. And so I laid there and pretty soon the ambulance came and um, they very carefully uh, did whatever they did to get me into the ambulance. 
<laughs> and there was nobody riding in the back of the ambulance with me. And they were bouncing around corners. And I actually, as I laid on this board, uh, I had to keep myself from falling off onto the floor. But that's another story. So they got me to the hospital. And I had, uh, they had, it took six guys to hold me when they went to reset my leg just below my knee. And what happened was the, my leg broke just below the knee. And it split vertically up to the knee socket. And then also, um, uh, it, it I broke my uh, my two bones down at the bottom, uh, just above my ankle. Now I want you to take a look here. We'll continue with the story in a minute. I'm gonna put another video up here and let you take a look at what it looked like last time that I uh, last time that I I uh, rode here. Now back in November when I got my I got my uh, e-bike. I rode down this canal road where you see the car driving along there. And uh, it was early morning, and I heard all these cows mooing and everything. And so uh, I thought, well, there's a lot of cows there. So I came back later and made this this video with my, with my uh, Mini 2. And uh, just for fun, I, I didn't know there had been so many cattle there. But then just the other day, I'm riding along, and they're all gone. And I'm thinking, what happened? So anyway, that's what uh, I wanted to, to check out. Were they at the other end of the field? Or were they, um, were they, uh, <laughs> where were they? Did they go to McDonald's? Were they slaughtered? Did you eat one of them the other day? <laughs> anyway, so that's, there's the feet, that's that little, uh, uh, dirt spot that's where they fed them right there and then there's a second one over here that we'll back up and see pretty soon but as you can see there's no cattle there and I noticed the field was all overgrown when I was riding by so <clears throat> I don't know what happened to them my wife says that maybe they moved them to a different location for the winter well that could be uh, but anyway there's no cattle there and I would I'm thinking probably they went to McDonald's <laughs> All right, so let's go back to the story. So anyway, uh, they had to, it take, took six guys to hold me. It was so painful, and uh, so then they, the uh, the doctor, uh, I was in the hospital there for ten days while they, uh, well, the, first of all, they operated and they set the leg like it should be, and they put the the upper part, the the part that broke just below the knee on that bone. Um, the upper part split vertically and so they had to put a screw in and of course that screw went beyond the end of the bone and stuck out on the other side and the doctor said I've never seen anybody with such soft bones as you have and of course that didn't make sense because they always told me drinking too much milk would give you make your bones hard well my bones didn't get hard so anyway I was in the hospital for 10 days and then I got to go home for two weeks and then I came back for another seven days while they did more operating, and they finally got it got it to where it was uh, it was you know finished. And then I got home. I got to go home, and I was in a wheelchair for oh I don't know a couple weeks or so. And then I was and then finally I graduated to <clears throat> uh, crutches, and crutches are no fun because you can't carry a cup of coffee across the room when you have crutches. And uh, so that was kind of a, a mess. And so my wife was, I, I think she lost patience, but she was pretty patient with me because I was not a happy camper. <laughs> I, was, I was not in a happy mood. So anyway, then uh, uh, after several weeks, uh, I was able to get rid of the, of the uh, crutches. And I had this cane that I had carved when I was a teenager out of a tree limb. And I just kept it, you know, and so... Uh, for about the next seven years, I walked with that cane and uh, take, took it everywhere I went. And <clears throat> after about seven years, it was healed up enough that I didn't need to use the cane anymore. But uh, and the sad part is, is uh, when uh, my wife heard that I was in the hospital, that kind of put an end to uh, going to the ocean. And my my son Bruce, whose house we're looking at, when I told him my had a broken leg he thought it came off so when he came to the hospital to see me he was glad to see <laughs> that it had not coming off had not come off so anyway that's my story i hope you enjoyed the video i want to thank you for watching 
and God bless.